Finish up this week's Another World, next on SoapNet. Soap, Morning, Jason. Rachel. <clears throat> Is my son here? Yeah, uh, he's already gone to the hospital a couple of hours oh, ago. Oh, I was afraid that would happen. Why, is something wrong? No, I'm just uh, going away for a couple of weeks. I wanted to say goodbye to him. He mentioned uh, Max going to Europe. I guess that gives you some freedom. He'll probably do some traveling on your own. Huh? I'm meeting my husband in Europe, Jason. Well, you got me on now. Listen, uh, I'm probably not going to be able to catch up with Jamie. Uh, can I leave him a note? Sure, I'll see you to it, I guess. Thank you. Would you like some coffee? It's right good this oh, morning. Oh, no, thanks. Jason Frame, there are no clean towels in this house. Guess I'll have to get used to living with that, won't I? Wait, AC, when was the last time anybody did a load of laundry around here? I, uh, I, maybe I'll, I'll just go. <laughs> it's a good thing I came when I did. Rich? Charlene? It's been a long time. Cass? Sophie made coffee. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, There's a lot to do today. Oh, I know. Sometimes I wonder if this will ever slow down. It won't. It will never, ever slow down. <sighs> Who am I calling? Lord Byron, of course. You want me to call Drew? Well, I know it's not going to be easy, but it has to be done. It does? Yeah. He's probably still asleep, so that'll make it easier. Uh, I know you're going to find this hard to believe, Cass, but I don't know what you're talking about. Nicole. What? Today is the day that you tell Drew that it's over. Oh, that's not today. Yes, yes, it, we decided that it was today. Now, come on, just tell him that it's been fun, tell him that it's, you'll never forget him, and then tell him to get lost. Oh, Cass. Well, you do want to tell him, don't you? Well, yes. No. I don't know. I love a woman who knows her own mind. No, I mean, I know that I have to tell him. I just don't want to hurt his feelings. He's a big boy. He'll understand. Shall I dial for you? I'll be happy to dial for you. I have to tell him in person. Well, this is that, that would be the decent thing to do, I suppose. All right, have him come over here, and then we'll tell him together. No, 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 no. We won't. Haven't we already been through this? Cass, I have to do this alone. Here we go again. Okay, um... I'll wait in the office. You won't even know I'm here. Just tell him to hurry, okay? What service? It's ringing. Thank you. Drew. Hi, it's Nicole. No, 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 I'm fine. Drew, do you think you can come over to the salon this morning? Uh, no, 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 everything's fine. Oh, great. Uh, okay, oh, great, great. Well, then I'll just see you later. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Cass. What? I don't want you hovering. Hovering? I'm not hovering. Charlene Matthews. What? <laughs> you were married? No. Uh, after Russ and I divorced, I took my first husband's name. Huh. So, uh, you're staying here in the farm? Yeah. For now, it's big enough. Well, um, Jason seems very busy mm. constructing the yeah, hospice. Yeah, he's always running in and out of here, you know. So, so are all of his workers. That's, uh, that's why this place is such a mess. You have a daughter, don't you? Yeah, Josie's 17. 17? <laughs> yeah, but, but her dad... Uh, you know, I hear that your Amanda had a baby. I mean, the last time I saw her... Don't. I'm a grandmother. Enough uh, said. I am. <laughs> um, Jamie's a doctor. I know. I saw him yesterday with his girlfriend. Vicky? No, I no. She was here too. I mean, Lisa. A beautiful girl. And they just, just got back from Palm Beach. Jamie went to Palm Beach with Lisa? Yeah. That boy, he never tells me what he's doing. He's just like Matthew. Yeah, I heard that uh, Mitch was back in town. Yes, he's been here for quite a while. Matthew and Mitch are very close. Must be hard on you and Mac. No, it isn't. Not always. Hmm. Well, he came all the way out here to see Jamie. Yes, and he's gone to work. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you been doing with yourself all these years? I have been trying to raise my daughter. 
Uh, and that has taken up almost all of my time. I know how that is. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've, uh, we've never had much. But uh, I don't think either one of us has suffered for it. Uh, do you talk to Russ? No. Do you? No, never. Well, that's just as well, I guess. <laughs> Life's complicated enough. Yes, right. <laughs> Listen, Charlene, I'm going to have to go. Um, I'm catching a plane to Europe to meet my husband. Oh, that sounds great. Well, hopefully. Uh, thank you for the coffee. Yeah, uh, Rachel. Yes. Look, I know that, uh, you and I have never really been friends. But there's a lot of frame history between us. Yes, there is. I just, I just really enjoyed talking to you. Oh, thank you. And I, I, I just wish you could stay a while longer. Oh, I, I'd, I'd love to. Come on, Charlie. please. Please, I, I, I can't stand talking to Jason all day long. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, Come on. Just a little while. Okay? Great. I've got some sweet rolls. Oh, that sounds Let's great. Do sweet rolls. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Why did you change? Oh, I don't know. Well, why, why did you? Change into this dress. Oh, Cass, stop worrying. No, no, I don't understand why you're getting all dressed up for him. It's not for him. I just wanted to change. Are you sure? Hmm. <sighs> okay. Hmm. And what does hmm mean? Well, I'm a worrier by nature. Well, Cass, don't worry. Now, Drew's been very good to me, but I love you. Got it? Okay, got it. Okay. Now, go take a walk or something. Oh, no, I'm staying. Oh, Cass. Not in this room, but like I said before, in the office nearby. Promise? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Now, here's what I want you to say to him. Oh, you don't give up. And don't let him off the hook too easily. He deserves to squirm a little. Oh, I am not listening to this. The first thing you should s say is, Drew, I will always care for you. No, don't say that. I can't hear uh, you. Drew. We're old friends, but I'm devoted to Cass. Hey, Ooh. that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, although I will always appreciate what you've done for me... Go on. I think it's time you got on your white horse and galloped out of our lives. Oh, no, that won't work. And if I never hear your name mentioned again in my entire lifetime, it'll be too soon. Cass! Well, maybe that's a little harsh. Thank you. But you do get the drift. Trust me, I can do this. What time did he say he was going to get here? He said he was coming right over. Oh, Nicole. Speak of the devil. 